Okay, so yesterday I was uh, wanting to share uh, another really delicious idea for your basil and other herbs that you might be growing in your garden. And I actually um, made a video, or should I say videos, <laughs> because um, I had to make two because I wasn't going to make you sit and watch me pick individual um, leaves off the stems of uh, <laughs> all the herbs that needed to go into it and anyway the first video was like 14 minutes and I think I'm gonna upload that even though we had whiteouts and blackouts because of the Kindle and I promise you I am gonna stop um, whining and complaining to you about the Kindle I might I'm going to make a concerted effort because I'm getting sick of hearing myself um, whine about it. Um, not to uh, bring that up anymore. So uh, if I like, uh, my, I might scream out for crying out loud or something, but I, I won't clamor on anymore about it. I promise. Um, but the second video, uh, too long and actually too much silence in between uh, me blending. Um, that's why the FNAB cooking part of uh, my channel, I took those videos down until I have the right equipment um, to, uh, uh, you know, pause and, and start your video again. Uh, I'm just, it's just not conducive or feasible. It's, it's stupid. It looks dumb. <laughs> I'm going to start some coffee. My morning grog, and um, I'm going to just make a try to make a real quick video. Um, and I'm going to put this thing away for a little bit because um, I need to stay ahead of the curve and me um, worrying and fussing over making the video a video properly. Um, I just don't have time. I, I got too many things to um, stay ahead of. But I wanted to uh, share with you uh, the green sauce because I am going to post the first part of the video, even though, um, like I said, it's got whiteouts and, and blackouts in it. Um, but I can't post the second one because it, it's uh, like 30 minutes long. And um, it just isn't good because I'm very quiet when I'm blending it. Um, you, you don't need to watch it to know what to do to make the sauce, I guess is the point. <laughs> I'm getting lost in my words. And then we'll take a quick walk in the garden. Um, so you can kind of see what it looks like. So a week or so from now, um, you can see the growth. Now, I was out there already this morning, and I have to tell you, I didn't really plan out the planting of those mammoth pumpkins because they're starting to cover the marigolds, and I I can fix that once it gets a little bit bigger but I, I won't be planting um, mammoth pumpkins in front of marigolds again. I, I didn't think that out at all. So the first thing I want to show you is um, the green sauce. And uh, of course I bundled a bunch of herbs or herbs. <laughs> uh, and so I wanted to show you that too. Where are we at? Four minutes. Four minutes of me stumbling and bumbling over my words. Oh, and, I, and just for the record, I have a, a hair product in my hair right now trying to, uh, like a repair product. Um, the aerosols they've been spraying have been ruining the hostas and stuff, I think are taking a toll on my hair too. Well, 
here we go. Um, we got to some time up there now, and of course, rosemary and some tarragon. And there is uh, the oregano. This has been picked the day before all the rest. Now, these aren't going to stay bright and green like the seasonings you find in the grocery store because they spray things and do things to it to, to make it look appeasing to the eye. But as long as you don't have any mold growing in it, and you will know because you'll smell it, it will smell like mold instead of the, the herb that you're dealing with, um, you should just toss that out. And then we got to some cilantro and flat leaf parsley. Now once you get these up, you're going to want to mess with them, at least I find myself, I just want to touch them. <laughs> Try not to touch them a whole lot because you're going to mess with all the essential oils in it and you don't want to do that. I mean the only time you want to really mess with it is when you're wanting to get some or start um, jarring it up. Okay, now the green sauce, what you do, this is what the end product looks like. And you use a, a food processor and you do equal parts of all the herbs. You take the leaves off the stems and you wash them real good and then you dry them. And uh, you add two giant big bulbs of roasted garlic and you blend that and add your olive oil um, you want to squeeze a lemon into it and season with salt and pepper and it will stay good like two weeks in your refrigerator and um, it's just an herbal dipping sauce you can use it in your cooking you know you need a teaspoon of um, some flavoring this is a wonderful thing to use um, we like to dip our steak in and actually last night I had to put those steaks back in the refrigerator get another one out of the freezer for an extra mouth for tonight um, you know life happens and dinner plans had to be changed and I'm going to have an extra mouth here tonight for it, so it was no big deal. I just had some raviolis. I never did get out of that house coat <laughs> until I was getting ready for bed. And so we're going to do a walk around so um, you can see in a week or so the the plant growth now it looks like there have been a herd of caterpillars out there because I have been out there harvesting but not to worry because that is all going to grow back plenty of time in the season and actually I have a lot more harvesting um, to do out there actually yeah it looks uh, not as pretty but you know, we aren't doing this for it to be pretty. We're doing this to uh, harvest. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm not going to mention the K word anymore, okay? <laughs> A probus. Because I know I'm tired of hearing myself. Okay, I haven't been back here. Okay, I got my bug spray done the other day. And uh, went around and sprayed everything. And I'm going to need to make some more today because um, I have a lot more area to cover. And I need to stay on top of those bugs. Them bugs must be some kind of smart bug. 
Have you ever seen that movie? Super, not, not Super Troopers. What is it? However, they are coming out with Super Trooper, Super Troopers 2. Can you hear me meow? I laughed so hard. That movie like, made me laugh so hard. So, yeah. Yeah, the sugar pumpkin leaves are <laughs> much smaller than the mammoth. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of upset about that positioning, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Live and learn, right? Okay. So, I'm going to step away from this after this video for a while. And so the next time I come back online with the video hopefully it's gotten bigger this is um, finally snapping out of me uh, <laughs> putting the trellis in front of it instead of behind it after it already had pretty much got gotten established it's even going on the other side of the the fencing yeah, it's blocking a lot of the um, sugar pumpkins on the other side. So they're smaller than the ones over here. Yeah, you know, we do these things sometimes. Well, at least I do that. <laughs> In my eggplant over here. Let's see if I can get a, a zoom in. I'll have to come around, I guess, if you want it. I want to show you that and these are the green beans see this, this I've never done green beans before I thought uh, they were at like a vine thing and would be growing so I put them by the fence but apparently that's not what they do you know I thought they'd climb like uh, cucumbers yeah learning as we go That's really pretty. I think that's very pretty. Anyway, I sprayed these cabbage. Look how perky they are. I guess I should have done a before and after with the bug spray because they seem happier. And uh, I used uh, peppers, cayenne, uh, organic biodegradable dish soap oil gar garlic and onions and uh, I actually put some organic tobacco in it too cuz I was reading up on on that as a deterrent so when I was freaking out about the radishes they're supposed to do that actually root vegetables are supposed to do that so I was doing something wrong apparently because uh, <laughs> they're supposed to look that way okay we're gonna pull this one if you don't pull up uh, when they get ready to be pulled when they need to be pulled they'll, they'll start uh, getting uh, real hard and woody so I need to come out here and get the ones that are like this. And it'll make way for the ones that are smaller. And uh, I'm going to plant some more seeds around it. Because there's still time. Aren't those pretty? Yummy, yummy. The corn flowers are uh, going to start blooming their orange flowers here pretty soon. Okay, uh, the, the cauliflower is finally starting to uh, take off and catch up. And the spinach, likewise, there's, like I said, two different kinds of spinach in there. Wait a second here. Yeah. 
Is that the spinach or is that a weed? Oh, I know that. That's a tree. <laughs> oh, that's really rooted in there. Well, gosh. I'm going to have to do some investigating. Oh, we got lots of trees in here. The ground should be softer as much rain as we got. I think we got like almost six inches of rain in 45 minutes the other day. Crazy, right? here in a while actually to be honest with you and uh, we still have a lot of the season to go but these are are not getting enough sun so I am going to probably uh, not put the fruit um, in this little section I'll put something that I don't really understand because these uh, these are just going crazy and they're actually starting to get their berries. Well, I don't know. We'll see. But the cantaloupe are um, not yellow anymore. So a lot of them were yellow for a while. A few of them are still got that kind of yellow look. These are looking happy. Maybe these aren't climbers either. Maybe this trellis is for not. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Jack of all trades and a master of none. <laughs> trying to school myself. Okay, we got the mint that's been here for several years that I transplanted from out front and what I added yeah, but look at yeah, all these are going to be buried soon me and my grandson love to just come out here and feed them off the bottom the bush I mean Probably not really smart with all the aerosols they're spraying. I don't know. Crap. You could watch until the cows come home and it's probably still bad. Can't forget my radish. My beautiful radish. I need to stop doing that, making those funny voices. I don't know why I do that. Oh yeah, the eggplant. Gotta get the size of the eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the chamomile's starting to really take off. What's in it? Isn't that the cutest little thing? Look at the little flower. Oh, <laughs> how cute. Look at it. Oh, they've gotten, I haven't looked at these in a while. They're getting tall. They are getting tall. I don't think I'm getting a very good angle so you can see. I know what I'll do. <clears throat> oh crap. 
crap, we're already at 20 minutes. I gotta hurry up or this isn't gonna upload. And I will be back in a week or so. I'm gonna try to make it a little longer than a week so you can really, <laughs> this poor hostess, they'll, they'll take off next year really well. And where I was messing with the rock wall, that stuff is starting to finally grow around it. Hmm. I need to pick up dog poop. See over there? Because oh, I'm getting a big whiff of it. <laughs> <laughs> We must do this daily, otherwise it smells like I got my nose in a dog's butt. <laughs> nice, right? <laughs> they poop a lot. <coughs> Actually, I didn't get to it yesterday because I was too busy trying to make a video. And we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> we'll set this radish down and we gotta hurry up. Hurry, hurry, hurry up. Because I want to show you the plants that I was harvesting on yesterday. So when I come back in a week or so, you can see how much they've grown. Okay, yeah, it looks like a cat, a herd of caterpillars have been through. And actually, I had some parsley, a big bush of parsley in a pot, and it was, I was getting ready to harvest it. And the next day I came out and half of it was gone. It looked like someone already harvested it. Harvested it, and, uh, and what do I find? I find three caterpillars, fat caterpillars. And yeah, they, they will do that. <laughs> so fast so okay so I harvested this one here and it looked like that so we're gonna harvest those two and uh, just letting you get a and I have come to the conclusion that this is definitely um, a collar green I believe <laughs> doesn't it look like a collar green or maybe a char, charred, charred. And look at the lightly gripes. <laughs> Aren't those cute? Okay. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. All right. I will be seeing you a week or a little more. Yeah, a little more. I already said that. How many times? Yeah. Okay. See, oh, they have totally, completely taken the sun away from them and are hiding them. So I'm not going to do that again. As soon as the vines start coming out, I'll, I'll trim some of the green, some of the bigger leaves back. Alright, you should try that green sauce. It's really, really, really good. <laughs>